Have you ever wondered how animals manage to communicate with each other? While humans have the ability to speak, making it much easier for people to communicate with each other, animals don't have this linguistic privilege. Despite this, they manage to understand each other. An incredible fact shared by many species is the ability to communicate and cooperate without even being endowed with speech. It's amazing how these beasts manage to understand each other. Just imagine. Primates like chimpanzees and bonobos give each other tips with cries, mimics and little hand signals. It must be quite an atmosphere in the jungle, between discussions about the next brunch and gossip about the hairiest neighbor. And then there are the crows, those clever birds, who team up to find the day's snack. They stick together and share tips for spotting the right spots. It's like a reunion of friends in search of the best burger around. Primates such as chimpanzees and bonobos use vocal cues, gestures and facial expressions to communicate information about food, predators and social relationships. Crows are known to use tools and to cooperate in the search for food. Dolphins communicate with each other using whistles and clicks, and often cooperate when hunting for fish. From true calm pros dolphin communication is extremely sophisticated and diverse. Dolphins produce a wide range of sounds, from whistles to clicks and squeaks. These sounds can be used for both short and long-range communication. Whistles are often used for individual and social identification, while clicks are used for echolocation. Foraging and navigation, dolphins also use their body language to communicate. They use head, fin, and body movements to convey information about their emotional state, intentions and identity. It's as if they were staging a permanent aquatic concert. And their body movements? It's their way of saying, hey you, why don't you come for a swim? Their evenings at sea must be fun. In the insect kingdom, ants are renowned for their complex social organization and ability to cooperate in building nests, finding food and defending their colony. Communication in this small creature is fascinatingly complex. Ants mainly use chemical, visual and tactile signals to communicate with each other. Pheromones are chemical substances secreted by ant glands. They are used to mark trails to food, to indicate the presence of danger, to attract mating partners, or to delimit the colony's territory, ants can also communicate visually. They use body movements, antennae and vibrations to transmit information. For example, when an ant discovers food, it can communicate its discovery to other members of the colony by using specific movements or tapping with its antennae. Ants frequently touch each other with their antennae to transmit information, such as recognition of colony members, alarm signals, or food exchange. And the most astonishing thing although less widespread than other forms of communication, some ant species can produce sounds or vibrations to communicate with their fellow creatures. It's a bit like performing karaoke in their nest. The ability to communicate and cooperate transcends species boundaries, which is truly fascinating and a testament to the richness and diversity of the animal kingdom.